Welcome back, everybody. Thank you all so much for joining me here today. My name is Pratesh with Kaizen Crypto. In this video, we're talking about Jed now on Testnet. Also, Atala Scan is IOG's Cardano blockchain traceability solution. And lastly, we saw Charles Hoskinson on Fox News giving you all my thoughts on that interview, as well as an update on some of the things that we are working on here at Kaizen Crypto. So lots to get into here in this video today. If you all do enjoy this type of content, please be sure to drop a like for me. If you do wanna stay updated with more Cardano content like this, make sure you hit that subscribe and be sure to click that notification bell as well so you know exactly when I post a new video. So jumping right into the content for today, we got an announcement from Cody saying that the Jed public test net has now been released. So this has been highly anticipated. Cody is the company that's going to be facilitating crypto payments, essentially providing services to merchants to be able to accept crypto. So things like A to pay, uh, but then they've also been the issuer of the Jed stablecoin, or they will be the ones to issue the stablecoin once it goes live. What we saw today was it being released on the public test net. So this was really exciting. In fact, there was so much excitement for this. I went and tried to click on the link that they provided on their Twitter, allowing you to test it out. Uh, and we got a 403 error just because of the amount of traffic that is going to the site. So there is a lot of anticipation for this stablecoin. Uh, an algorithmically backed stablecoin is a very interesting development. Uh, just taking a look at their Medium articles, we've got a little bit of info that we can digest here just to learn a bit more. Jed is a decentralized algorithmic stablecoin that is built on Cardano. An algorithmic stablecoin maintains stability through a combination of collateral and reserve tokens. So there's actually a second token that's going to be used along with the Jed stablecoin. We're going to take a look at that. In this case, Shen is Jed's reserve coin and has the role of ensuring price stability. Specifically, it guarantees the collateralization rates and the peg of the stablecoin. So it's very important being that it is stable. You do want to have that reserve ratio uh, correct so that the value doesn't fluctuate dramatically. Uh, so as far as the test net, nice to see that going live. Uh, I think a few people were able to check it out and use it. They've got some links for you here in this Medium article, giving you their website. Uh, you would need to get some test ADA by going to the faucet, go to their website, connect NAMI. I really want to test this out. So I'm hoping that the website does come back online once they've sorted out their servers. Uh, but this is really exciting. So look forward to that. If you are able to test it out, let me know what you thought. Uh, it's really exciting to see this uh, Jed algorithmic stablecoin now coming onto Cardano on the testnet. Now, taking a look at Shen, so there's the Jed stablecoin and then there's the reserve coin that they had mentioned. So what they did was they went along with this theme. So continuing with their ancient Egyptian theme, they picked Shen as the name. Shen is a symbol of both royalty and symmetry. So it's very interesting. Um, it has a deep connection with infinity, eternity, protection, and completeness. So buying and selling Shen, users will be able to maintain Jed's USD currency peg while earning a share of transaction fees in the reserve pool. Since the reserve coin is a tradable asset, holders can also profit from the short-term and mid-term price fluctuations as an added incentive. So there is a different concept that we have along with Shen. With Jed, we've got the value of the coin pegged one-to-one -one with the US dollar. Whereas with Shen, it acts a bit more like a traditional cryptocurrency in that sense, where the price is a bit more volatile and you'll see a lot more fluctuations. So it's really cool to think about. I'm excited to learn more about how all of this works within their ecosystem. There's a lot of information here on these Medium articles. If you do want to learn more, make sure you check those out. I will be sure to leave those for you all down in the description below. Next up, I wanted to talk about supply chains and how Cardano and blockchain technology can help to solve some of the problems we've seen with the counterfeit goods market. So on this note, I made a tweet today saying that luxury brands lose an estimated $30 billion per year to counterfeiting. With solutions such as blockchain, brands like Rolex, Louis Vuitton, and Gucci can guarantee authenticity and increase their bottom line. So one of the most commonly counterfeited brands in the world is Rolex. And to think about what are some of the things that they can do to help not only give their users a better experience by being able to guarantee the authenticity of 
the item which they've purchased, but also help to take some of the revenue which has been lost to the counterfeit market and put that into the pockets of the authentic manufacturer. So that is one of the solutions that IOG has been thinking about as well with their Atala scan blockchain-based authentication, essentially creating a NFC based authentication solution, which you can integrate in things like labels in this case for their wine bottles. You can also include this in a, a card. Like if you think of a credit or a debit card, now a lot of them have these NFC chips. So one of the things that they've done is they've incorporated this into the premium spirits market. So if you pay a lot of money for a bottle of wine, or let's say a really expensive whiskey that's been aged for decades, being able to have a label that would allow a user to say, simply just tap their smartphone and then open up an app, which you can see then the authenticity and origin of this product. And then also maybe what are some of the places that it's been, if it's maybe traded hands once or twice. So part of the solution for bottles of spirits is a smart seal that would allow you to be able to tell if it's been tampered with. So this is a really, really cool thing that they've created. It's important to think about. There was actually a comment in one of my previous videos. We actually did an interview with Baez Wine. So they were actually part of a test pilot for this product. And one of the comments said, well, couldn't a person simply just copy and paste the QR code or a label onto a different bottle? Well, in that case, they've got a tamper resistance mechanism for this, so almost like a seal, uh, which would allow you to know it's been tampered with. The problem that they're addressing with this solution is that the production and sale of counterfeit goods is a global multi-billion dollar problem and one that has serious economic and health ramifications for governments, businesses, and consumers. So it's not just premium spirits, but it's also things like cosmetics, fashion goods, prescription medication. So there's a lot of things that could be incorporated with this. Uh, as far as the global counterfeit market, it has ballooned in size going from $200 billion in 2008 to $509 billion in 2019, which is almost equivalent of 2.5% of world trade. So going back to the smart seal solution that they've created with this Atala scan product, the smart seal is at the heart of their system. It is a wafer thin label incorporating a near field communication chip, which is an NFC chip. It's small enough to be glued to a product incorporated in a card or embedded in a product or its packaging. So I really like that they've given a bit of versatility to this product. A great article on the IOHK blog, also showing you what we had mentioned previously with Baez Wine. So this is their website. If you do want to check out an interview I did, it was, it's been a while since I did that interview, but that is also on the channel. I will be sure to include that here up on the top, uh, but they've got a section on their website dedicated specifically to talking about their Cardano uh, solution, which they've incorporated for their bottles of wine. Another solution that has incorporated this is agriculture, beef chain. Uh, so beef chain is blockchain verified beef and sheep. So if we think about where does your food come from? So this is a pilot program that was first started in Wyoming and uh, just really interesting to see how this has progressed as well. But what I'm thinking as far as where this solution would have the greatest impact would be in those luxury name brand items, right? Rolex, Gucci, Louis Vuitton. These are billion dollar brands. And I think that in order for these types of solutions to have the biggest impact, they would need to scale to a larger market. So very interesting to see that, but just something that I felt is very important to talk about as we think about the different use cases for blockchain. Now, Cardano has been making some incredible progress and Charles Hoskinson showing up to the party, dressed very handsomely, I might add, wearing a suit on Fox Business. So this was really exciting just to think that we've been following the project now for years and to see Charles Hoskinson now being addressed as the Cardano founder on Fox Business is really cool. Um, there was a couple of things with this interview, but I feel like overall, Charles did a fantastic job. Charles was able to talk about some of the solutions that Cardano brings to the table that is plaguing many other blockchains currently, such as scalability, governance, and a lot of other things that Cardano has thought about with their peer-reviewed and academic research approach. Also, it would have been really nice to see in this interview the Cardano price being displayed here with the uh, cryptocurrencies. But I think overall, on the whole, it was a great interview. 
uh, Charles did very well with being able to answer some of those questions and help to educate the mainstream about Cardano. And last up, for those of you all who have stayed till the very end, just a couple updates about some of the things that I've been working on here at Kaizen Crypto. So we've been going along with the Project Noom team and things have been going very well. And I'm really excited to be a part of the team now officially as a crypto ambassador. Uh, so this was really exciting, really humbling just to see this. I'm honored to work with so many amazing people on the Project Noom team. A big thank you to Ryan, especially for giving me the opportunity. I think that this is a great collaboration and uh, I can't wait to uh, see the growth and the progress of Project Noom. And lastly, for lovely Saga fans out there, just a bit of an update. We have been continuously working in the background on this NFT game that we want to bring to Cardano. So this is a preview of the 3D map, which we are gonna be launching for our MVP. Uh, this is something that's been going on now for quite a while, but we're now finally able to say this is what we have to show. Uh, some of the 3D animations as well, featuring some of those NFT characters that we've included with previous versions of Kaizen NFTs. Uh, speaking of which, the Mint is currently live for the two gadgets and the two items which will be included in the MVP, which is the grenade and the health potion. So if you are a Kaizen NFT holder, make sure you head over to our Discord where you can get the official link and where you can mint these NFTs. We're doing a really special thing for our Kaizen NFT holders. So if you do have them, Make sure you go ahead and take advantage of that opportunity. All right, everyone. Well, that is what I have for you all here in this video today. Just some of the things that I'm looking forward to as we make progress within this ecosystem, the brave new world of blockchain. Thank you again so much for watching. If you did enjoy it, make sure you drop a like for me on your way out and I will see you all in the next video. Take care, everybody.